Yeah, you get to be in it and you get to do amazing physical acting and stunts. And so yeah. let's talk about that because you mentioned one of the reasons you couldn't go to Comic-Con was because you were dealing with this, what was it, herniated discs? Yeah, I, I herniated two discs into my spinal cord and broke through the protective barrier and then like basically almost severed my spinal cord. So it was like pushed right up against yeah. the wall, my spine, whatever. And if I did any rapid movements, if I would have slept funny even or had a bad massage or whiplash in a you know, car, anything like that, I could have been paralyzed. So I had an emergency surgery. They took them out. They put in new ones. I'm as good as new. They're like, I'm like bionic now. Uh, but they, when they got in there, they, Dr. Bray was, you know, he, he showed me some of the things. It's just like it had been shattered. So there were like pieces of my disc like in my spine. He's like taking them out. It was meant to take, I think, an hour and a half or two hours of surgery. It took about four because of how bad it was when they got in there. And I've made a great recovery. Which is all the video you posted on Instagram showing yeah. all the actual surgery. Why did you want to do that for your fans? Um, because for two reasons. One, I was unable to make it to Comic-Con. I was unable to make it to a few events that in the past people from similar shows have been able to make it to. And there was a lot of speculation as to like, oh, she's not even going to promote her show, oh, she thinks this, oh, she thinks that, or, you know, whatever it was. And it was, and mind you, I was, like, unable to move, you know, recovering from spinal surgery. But I, I didn't want to mention it at the time to take away from the fun of Comic-Con. I wanted everyone to just be excited about the show. I didn't want there to be, like, a looming, like, and what's happening? Um, and the other reason is because I think that Hollywood and, and the world in itself, but Hollywood especially, and the, what it's been based on forever is this sort of perfection idea. And that everyone to be the best at being a Hollywood star, it's like you have to look a certain way, you have to be young, you have to be beautiful, you have to be able-bodied, you have to be, you know, not controversial, you should probably be straight. There's like, this is a lot of things there. And we're slowly, slowly like chipping away at that and showing real people and showing that everyone looks and is different and unique and that's what makes them interesting to, to watch and to, to look up to and to, you know, whatever. And and for me, I felt like I was suddenly perpetuating the exact notion that I've always felt very strongly against. And I already, I'm already not going to fit into that thing. You know, it's like I already tick a lot of boxes that are like, oh, she's got so many tattoos. Oh, she's got short hair. Oh, she's a lesbian. Oh, she's, you know, Australian, whatever. Um, and so I was like, oh, why not? Now I'm like a Pez dispenser. And, uh, <laughs> and I wanted to own it. And I didn't want to keep lying about it. I was making me feel sick. I felt like I was in, in the closet because... People would ask, how, how much are you training? How hard are the stunts? You know, you must be training vigorously. And I was like, yes. Yes, yes, I am. And they were like, have you ever been injured doing a stunt? I was like, nothing comes to mind. And it's like, there's this huge cut against my neck because it was at the TCAs. And she was like, have you ever been injured doing any of the stunts? You know, I'm Batwoman. And you like, black eyes. And I was like, no, absolutely not. Like, I got a paper cut once. Yeah, it was I literally really unfortunate. Was like, well, I got like a black eye and I got, um, like, maybe my, my lip got bumped. And I'm just like, wh what was that? <laughs> I mean, you're meant to be an actor, do a better job. But I just, I felt terrible. It was like, why am I lying about this? It's okay to say, no, actually, I, I've been out of, I've been unable to do that because of a really serious surgery. And we've, we've rescheduled it so that as my recovery, you know, happened, I could do the, I could go back and do parts of like 102, 103, 104 and, you know, be part of the action when I was ready. Um, so now are you back in the action? Yeah, there's things I can't do. Yeah, There's definitely things I can't do. But um, I also feel like this was a very good me message to me to slow down a little. And so I I haven't yet, but I, I, I'm just saying I think it was, I think that was the message. The intended message was to slow down, and I'm, I'm slowly going to do that. 